Um, okay. I'm Julie de Bruson. I'm the parliamentary secretary to the Minister of Canadian Heritage. And I uh, just wanted to provide an update after the uh, committee hearing that we had today. So today we introduced a motion to have the Minister of Justice provide a revised charter statement invite the Minister of Justice and the Minister of Canadian Heritage along with department officials to discuss that charter statement and to allow for a clause by clause to continue, but for the bill not to be confirmed until we had the charter statement new appearance by the ministers. We proposed a reasonable attempt to resolve the impasse and to move forward. The Conservatives chose to filibuster instead. The filibuster has gone on now for something close to seven hours. This is unfortunate, because we could achieve more by having a charter review as a complete bill put forward. Before, we were reviewing 22 amendments on average a meeting. Today, we had none. We are happy to have a charter review, but in saying that, I want to emphasize that the bill does not restrict political expression. That is specifically protected within the Broadcasting Act, and the amendments make clear that the only things asked of social media companies are, how much revenue does your platform make in Canada? Invest a certain percentage of that platform's Canadian revenues into our cultural production funds and promote and make discoverable our artists. The obligations for social media companies would have no requirement for the number of stories that would have to be promoted. The Broadcast Act requirements for proportion of programs for discoverability has been removed for social media companies. Artists have asked for us to continue with a study, and I hope that we can take the next steps. Thank you. Thank you. We'll now start the question period. So now, we'll start the de question. As a reminder, one question, one follow up. I rappel, une question, une question de suivi. Operator, avons nous une première question? Thank you. Merci. You may press star one. If you have a question, you can appuy sur étoile 1 if you have a question. The first question is from Tom Korski from Blacklock. Please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. And could I ask you, the department has said in past hearings that, for instance, YouTube Corporation would be subject to CRTC hearings, etc., as a broadcasting corporation. Would they be subject to CBSC codes as well? In fact, if uh, the new amendment that was is, um, actually had been moved in the last meeting and is still both before the committee, made it very restrictive as to what the order making powers are for social media companies. And it is restricted to exactly what I had listed to you earlier. Um, it would not include the other requirements that apply to traditional broadcasters. Okay, so that, that implies then that the bill in its current form, never mind amendments that haven't passed, the bill in its current form would subject YouTube Corporation, just like XYZ Television Network, to CBSC codes that are censorious, they do mandate content, they do regulate spoken words and political speech, and the, we all know what the RTNDA and CAB codes state. I, isn't that just the fact that's the way the bill stands right now? Well, no, because we are now in a clause by clause provision. We go through each in the order that it appears. So there is a certain ordering as to how we go through the bill and the bill is in the amendment phase. It is not in a completed phase. It has not been confirmed as a complete bill to send back to the house. And the amendment that is on the table right now for the committee um, to consider that I have moved would specifically limit what the obligations or the orders that can be made by the CRTC, and it would be exactly to what I mentioned as is three pieces. So what the, there would be no further requirements than those three requirements, which there's so, so I disagree. Thank you, Operator, I have a question. 
Thank you, merci. The next question is from Janet Silver from iPolitics. Please go ahead. Thank you for taking that question. Given the stalemate after the motion was introduced by your colleague, Mr. Housefeather, and that led to two hours of discussion, what, what happens next? Do you expect that when you next meet, that that motion will actually get voted on and then you go back to Ms. Harder's motion? goes back to your motion and then back to Ms. Harder's motion. I'm just wondering what, what's the next step here? We have a weekend until we meet again on Monday. And my hope is that we, we definitely ended on a hopeful note when we heard from uh, the, the block that also is encouraging us to be moving forward. So I'm hoping that all of the parties will be able to to find a way forward to be able to move this bill forward. We we need to be able to move forward. That is what our, our creators and our artists are asking of us. And, and at this point, that is the step that I am imploring all of the committee members to, to work towards is, is to remember what why we're there, what we're trying to do, which is to help support our creators. And I guess my follow is in terms of one of the, the suggestions that was made a few times by the Conservatives is that if there is a problem, once there is a charter review, that they would need unanimous consent then to go back to examine that. Is A, is that correct? And B, if that is the case, is, is there room to move, if you will, to put another amendment in to make sure that if there are concerns, or do you think that will just continue to bog down the process? Um, absolutely. I mean, it, you know, in, in a collaborative approach, we could absolutely find a way to, to resolve that issue. And, and ultimately, the committee has to agree to, to the bill to send back to, to the House. So we all have to work together to get to that point. And absolutely, if that was what their request was, that is something that we would have been able to to deal with. And 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 it was never the intent to have a situation where we wouldn't be able to look back to it. That was, in fact, I would say specifically the reason that the motion was phrased the way it was was that we would not confirm the bill as a whole and send it back to the House until that further information and appearance were before us. Thank you. Operator, prochaine question. Thank you, merci. You may still press star one if you have a question. Vous pouvez appuyer sur étoile un si vous avez une question. Next question is from Tom Korski from Blacklock. Please go ahead. Thank you, uh, Mr. Bruce, and I appreciate the second round. Only if that, I don't understand why there's a lack of questions, but I appreciate it. So you're stating that your amendment would specifically prohibit the uh, CBSC from taking complaints against, for instance, YouTube Corporation, and would prohibit the CRTC from looking at any complaints to the CBSC against YouTube at any licensing hearing. They would be the only broadcast undertaking, in my example, that is completely exempt from the CBSC codes. Is that your understanding? Um, my understanding is that when uh, you read it, and if you'd like a copy of the amendment, I'd be pleased to provide it with you if you, if you don't have the full wording. Uh, but it makes it clear that the orders from the CRTC can only be in respect of, and I'm looking to make sure I have it right, expenditures, the discoverability of Canadian creators of programs, and, and financial information. Uh, so it is a very limited, uh, sec a limited set of orders that can be made by the CRTC, and it is specifically set out in the amendment. It's only orders under paragraph 1E.2, I.1, or J. And so you read that as prohibitive of any consideration whatsoever 
of the CBSC codes. I'm not a lawyer. I don't think you are either. I just want to make sure I what your fact. understanding is of that. So you, you can explain that to me, that, that, that the distinction between a prohibition and an allowance are not the same thing. So it's your understanding that YouTube hands off when it comes to complaints to the CBSC. So, so first, I, I would like to clarify that that I have practiced law for many years um, and, and do have a law degree. But uh, beyond that, if I may, the wording is very clear in the amendment, which is that the order making power for the CRTC, it says specifically orders made under this section, which is the order making powers, other than orders made under paragraph 1E.2, I.1, or J, do not apply in respect of programs that are uploaded to an online undertaking that provides a social media service by a user of the service. If that user is not the provider of the service or the provider's affiliate or the agent or mandatory, then for the transmission over the internet and reception by other users of the service. In short, only those three points can be applied. For social media companies. Thank you. We are telling me that this is all the time we had for the press conference. On m'annonce que c'est tout le temps que nous avions pour la conférence de presse. Merci. Hey, thank you.